The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Your influence counts. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. What quality is this love? A love for the soul that would part with selfish gratifications and practice stern self-denial in order to elevate a noble and sanctify those with whom we associate. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Do you love those with whom you associate well enough to forgo your desire for amusement and self-pleasing, that you will not place these souls in the path of temptation? that you will not beckon them to pursue a course of fun and frolic which leads to the extinguishment of serious thoughts in regard to the salvation of their souls. Do you cultivate personal piety, that your youthful friends may follow where you lead the way, upward and forward to obedience to God? What is the quality of your love? Is it of a character to make your associates more Christ-like? Will it have a tendency to bring solid timbers into their character building? God enjoins upon all his followers to bear a living testimony in an unmistakable language by their conduct, their dress and conversation, in all the pursuits of life, that the power of true godliness is profitable to all in this life and in the life to come. A cheap Christian character works more harm in the world than the character of a worldling, for professed Christians mislead others by professing to represent him whose name they assume. God is love. Whoso dwelleth in God dwelleth in love. All who have indeed become acquainted with the love and tender compassion of our Heavenly Father, will impart light and joy wherever they may be. Their presence and influence will be to their associates as the fragrance of sweet flowers, because they are linked to God and heaven, and the purity and exalted loveliness of heaven are communicated through them to all that are brought within their influence. You can surround your souls with an atmosphere that will be like ciphers from the heavenly Eden.